Hello friends, my name is Apoor and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to share how I prepare for data structures and algorithm round of Walmart. And this method can be applied to any other product based companies too. Before I begin, I would like to tell you that I am far from a pro data structure and algorithm problem solver. I have never done a competitive programming in my life. I am just going to share my method which I used because a lot of people have asked me on LinkedIn and other platforms that how did I prepare. That being said, at the end of the video, I'm going to share some of the YouTube channels who specifically help you to prepare for data structures and algorithm RAM at different product based companies. Now, I would like to talk about that. Why do companies take uh, this data structures and algorithm round? Why do they do this? So the best answer that I can think of is at the end of the day, you and I, all engineers, we are problem solvers. We are not SD1, SD2, front end, back end developers. We are all problem solvers. That's one thing which is common among all of us. The more concentrated and more monotonous problem we solve, the less we get paid. The more complex and more widespread problem we solve, the more we get paid. I hope this is, that is clear. Okay. So during an interview, the interviewer is giving you a problem and trying to see how is your approach towards solving that problem. You may not able to solve that problem, but you need to at least try your best to solve or to try to come up with ways you can solve the problem. Many times I have seen in interviews, people just give up. They get intimidated by the problem and they just outright give up. And that's not the attitude that uh, your interview is looking for. Okay. So yeah, that's just uh, what I wanted to share. Now let's begin the video. So my preparation for data structures and algorithms started two years before I had appeared for Walmart interview. Um, what I used to do is uh, I found this playlist by MIT where they have recorded their lectures. And uh, this playlist consists of around 47 videos here. Yeah. And uh, half of them are actual class videos and the rest of them are revisions. So if you see 24 of them are the actual class videos and rest are from R1 to R24. These are the revisions. But uh, uh, I found the revisions uh, way better than the actual classes. So uh, if you are going to refer any one of them, then I would uh, suggest you to go through the revision ones. And But the better uh, way would be to go through all of those videos. I had gone through all of these videos. I used to take one video per day and I used to understand it completely, make notes. Uh, and uh, it took me around 2 to 2.5 months to complete with this playlist. Okay. After this, what I did is, I went to this popular website geeks for geeks uh, I think most of you might be knowing about this and then I used to prepare uh, to topics uh, with uh, picking one data structure at a time uh, I took array and then I used to prepare all the questions and uh, I used to solve try to solve it by myself and then I used to write pseudo code I did not uh, write a working code and uh, used to execute that I would just write a pseudo code then I would compare my solution and then uh, what I would do is earlier if you if you see now there is an uh, option for JavaScript. So earlier it was not there. So what I used to do it I used to refer the Java solution and then I used to write it in JavaScript and execute it. So that's how I prepared. And similarly I prepared for strings, linked list, uh, queue, stack, binary tree, binary search tree, and then I went for another popular data structure which is try. It's somewhere here. Yeah so I prepared for these once I was done with all of these uh, data structures uh, I moved on to preparing interview questions popularly asked interview questions which can be found in the same website which is geeks for geeks and uh, here you can find uh, interview questions and also uh, which companies have asked them so you can prepare uh, which are mostly asked I definitely do this reversal linkage this has been the most asked question in uh, uh, most of my interviews so definitely do that one um, Similarly, what I used to do, I used to just pick a question. I used to understand the problem statement and then I used to solve it by myself. And once I am done solving it, uh, what I used to do is I used to Google the solution of this. And mostly I would find the Geeks for Geeks website itself. And yep, the Geeks for Geeks is the first one. And here, what you do is uh, compare your solution and try to understand this solution and implement it in. Uh, see here you can see it's not in javascript what i used to do is i used to uh, take the java solution and uh, use it in javascript and execute it in that 
so this was uh, this happened over uh, gap of 2 years now <clears throat> where i knew that uh, i am going to appear for walmart interviews um, so i had very less time so in that what i wanted was to revise all the uh, basic concepts of data structure so i tried finding a suitable video on youtube and i found this one okay this is a very good video short video 3 hours video which will help you revise all the concepts i will link this in the description so you can refer and uh, yep after this what i did is i went back to this site and <clears throat> now that i knew i was going to appear for walmart i searched for all the questions which are asked in walmart and i started preparing them i used to take 10 to 15 minutes to solve them and after that i used to refer to the solution that's how i prepared but that's just my way of preparation that i'm sharing with you this may or may not work with you so i am going to also suggest few youtube channels which actually help you prepare uh, data structures and algorithm so um, this is the first one um, this is a video by a guy named logabar uh, where he has shared 450 questions uh, which according to him if you solve these then you don't need to solve any other um, questions the link is here you can click and you can uh, it's a uh, basically an excel sheet uh, and you can refer to those questions uh then the next youtube channel is gorov sen he is also quite popular and he not only mm, has made videos on uh, data structures and algorithm question he has also made videos on system design which is also required for some of the higher level roles and yep you can find try by research and problem solution dynamic programming everything in this channel mm. the next one is Tushar Roy. Now this guy has not been uploading videos since two years, but still all his videos are still relevant. Okay, you can definitely check them out. Um, dynamic programming, uh, lead code solutions, um, graph algorithms. Okay, you can check them out. Next one is Jenny's lectures. So you can go to playlist and you can find this data structure and algorithm algorithms playlist. It has 112 videos. Uh, you can refer to whichever concept you would like. this is the uh, channel by guy named anuj uh, this is a very uh, recent channel and he has been creating uh, this playlist where he is uploading new videos of solving um, data structures and algorithm questions so you can refer to this one and the last one is again the same guy uh, lobber uh, he also helps you prepare uh, for product based companies okay so yeah these were all my recommendation i will link them all in the description so those were the resources and also my method of preparing for data structures and algorithm round at different product based companies apart from this what you can do is you can uh, appear for competitive programming at uh, different platforms such as code chef code forces lead code and you can uh, what do you say increase your problem solving skills and yep that's all about this video i hope you found it helpful and uh, i'll see you in the next one